welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your favorite girl a marie how is everybody doing yes we're still currently in the quarantine department of our life the whole catastrophe stage of our life i know everybody is about to lose their minds i mean i'm one of them i've been out of a job for a while now so it's like oh my god what do i do i've been sitting at home recording editing recording editing homeschooling so today we have an exciting video i told you guys if y'all are a part of the family y'all seen me unbox the february boxy charm and the march boxy lux box and i told you guys i will come back and do a full face using boxy charm items so that's what i'm here to do today so before we get into the video i would love for y'all to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell become a part of the family it's lit over here join the dg 4l squad y'all it's always a tongue twister for me but go ahead and join the squad hashtag DG4L squad so you will be a part of the notification game and you will get a shout out in my video. Welcome to all the new diamonds and gems to the family. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget about the upcoming 5k giveaway that's going on. Hopefully we get to 5k soon and you guys will get to enjoy, two of you guys will get to enjoy all of the goodies that I have been putting together. So let's jump off into this video, you guys. On this side of me, I have all of the BoxyCharm products that I wanna use, but since everything that came in those two BoxyCharm boxes is not a full face, I did put on the left side of me some of my new Shop Mustache items. You guys, I didn't film this month's Shop Mustache. If you guys would like for me to film that and upload it, let me know in the comments. I think I am gonna film it anyway, just because I started the year off good with filming and uploading shot mustaches. I think I'm gonna do it anyway, but you guys haven't really been like really enjoying those. So I don't know what else to bring to you guys. I'm pumping out videos left and right and I'm just not getting that many views on it. So I think I only have like two project pan items and i do need to do a project pan update for you guys as well so i guess i'll do that after this video so like i was saying about the box of charm items i think we're gonna start with the first aid beauty facial radiant pads it helps exfoliate tone and brighten the face i did clean my face this morning and i cleaned it with the cetaphil daily moisture uh, the daily cleanser my sister gave it to me so i decided that i should be trying those so i mean trying that i use the cetaphil daily lotion all the time it stays on my face and my hands and my body and i told you guys in my last video that that sea breeze has been like that sea breeze is the truth it burns the hell out your face. It cleanses your face. I only been using it, I think I used it twice. I didn't use it today because I knew I was gonna be using these pads, but you guys, that's, that sea breeze stuff is the truth. Now it's crazy because I did wash my face pretty good today. And look. So I am gonna go into my Clean and Clear Watermelon ooh, excuse me, Gel Moisturizer. Y'all, I'm about to do a full face of BoxyCharm items and I'm not going nowhere. I told you guys in my last video, we have been put on like a home and shelter. Like they really don't want you going nowhere, but like to work, to get food type of ordeal, if there's emergency, that type of thing. All right, the next thing that we're gonna jump off into is this qms intense eye cream is for day and night so we're gonna put that on before makeup and before my brows so that it could soak in and you know do its job i never use qmc uh qms before ever in my life i'm gonna see what it's about i am gonna go off camera and do my brows Okay, so I'm back. I brought you guys in a little bit closer. I went ahead and did my brows. I did put on my P. Louise base and my primer. So I do wanna jump off into 
the eyes first. And I did pull out my original Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe. This is the very first palette she made with them. I pulled it out for transition colors because the palette that I did pull out from the BoxyCharm doesn't have too many transition colors and you guys should have known that I would go with this one. I'm gonna go in with Hello Charmers by BoxyCharm. And remember you guys, it had all these pretty colors in it. We're just gonna take Boxy and we're gonna set the P. Louise base and hopefully it doesn't change up anything. I just wanna set it just a little bit to kinda keep down the creasing. So I do kinda wanna go in with spoiler first and I'm gonna use this same brush and we're just gonna fan it right up above and honestly you guys I don't know what kind of look I'm going for but we're just gonna wing it On camera, she looks really orange, but like in person, she's like really a sheer orange. It's not really opaque like that. I have so many color options that I want to dig off into, but I don't, I don't know. But I am going to dip off into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to grab this mustard -y color, one of my favorite shades out of the palette, and I'm going to keep the same brush and we're just gonna place her right in the crease, but we're gonna buff her up. Okay, I'm gonna go into unboxing, and then I'm gonna work back into the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going go in with unboxing, and we're gonna get a little bit closer to that crease. Right here. That's where my crease is, so we're gonna get right into that bad boy. Shadows are pretty creamy and blendable. They're very pigmented. I like it so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the same brush, but I'm going to, and I know these Shades have names, but I don't have that paper no more. So I'm gonna go into that deep burgundy and we're gonna bring it right in this crease just to deepen it up. We're gonna take a little bit, one dab of that black and we're gonna put it right in the edge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the remainder of the P. Louise base and we're just going to not such a hard cut crease, but not such a soft cut crease. So I am gonna go in, which gold, you guys? It's either gonna be sneak peek or luxe. I think I'm gonna do sneak peek. So I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild liquid liner and do hopefully like a massive wing liner. Y'all know when I say massive, I mean like as good as I can. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna leave it the way it is right now because I'm telling you I will mess it up. I'm gonna move on to the face and I'm gonna basically speed right through this because of the products is not in the boxy charm until oh you know what we can try you know my chair always turns we can try the becca skin love glow glaze stick this was like a highlighter stick i'm assuming i'm not oh yeah you can i'm not quite for sure how you use this but i'm assuming you put it on before because it is a cream product she just feel like a gloss bomb. Like if you could put this on your lips. I don't know, look how greasy it got. Like, I don't know, it just kind of made me look all kinds of shiny. We're gonna come back for the Ciate London 
Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. That's the next thing that's in the Boxy Charm box. Now, I'm a little bit scared of the setting powder, but at the same time, I'm like super excited to try the powder. I never had anything from Ciate London before because it's more on the expensive side of the drugstore. But I love that it's rose gold packaging, pink writing. It almost looks stark white. It looks really fine, really, really fine. So I'm excited, but at the same time, like I say, I'm scared. But let's just hope and pray that I like it. Oh, y'all, this is white. I'm gonna crease anyway, but I always try to blend out the creases. All right, here we go, you guys. I'm scared. Oh, this is white, white. some type of smell I don't know if that's a coconut smell I think it is and it actually smells really good and you guys know I don't like coconut smell y'all is not leaving a white cast it almost feels wet going on but that coconut smell smells so good it doesn't look ghostly it looks ghostly on camera but in person it really doesn't look ghostly um, I think you can get carried away with setting your, yourself with this. Because I probably did. It seemed like it would soak up all your oils and leave you with a flawless porcelain look all day. I am going to take my Olimar Cosmetics. I think this is like, it says a complexion brush. We're gonna use it to contour and see how it works. Okay, not bad. I swear the contour of this black coffee by Black Radiance is like really, really, really harsh, but at the same time, it's like really, really, really good. I just have to learn how to actually work with it. All right, we're gonna switch over to this brush by Almar, and it says this one is the bronzer brush, but I'm not quite for sure, so I'm gonna take it and set my face. All right, so with this look, and the lip that came in the boxy charm it's gonna look real crazy like <sighs> but i really want to try it i'm gonna take full size and pop it on the bottom waterline it's almost like a pressed glitter Alright you guys, so this is the finished look of the Boxy Charm product. When I was doing my lips, my sister had called, so I just showed you guys applying it. So this is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. And this is in the shade Wild Night. And you guys, when I did the unboxing and swatched it, I knew I was gonna love it. I'm glad that I did try this look. I keep looking at myself in the monitor and I really love this vampy lip. And I really wanna get on Sephora and look at more of the NARS shades of this. Um, I had it on for at least 10, 15 minutes now and it is still 
with the transfer. So I do want to look into the other colors on Sephora and I know right now, I don't know if they like completely shut down. Let's quickly talk about some of the products since we already talked about the NARS one. The Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut um, Setting Spray. Setting Spray, Setting Powder, you guys. I kind of really, really, really like this. It kind of reminds me of my, um, what is it called? It reminds me of the Revlon Photo Ready Candy Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. This one is in the shade 02, I also have 01. But it reminds me of this. Um, I don't know for sure if it's a exact dupe or not, but I will, you know, later on test the two and see where I'm all day and see if they're somewhat a dupe. But I think this is something that I will wear more often. I thought the stark white look of it was gonna be just a little too much, but it actually doesn't look bad at all. It, gave a tint of color instead of just stark white. It feels soft and velvety. It doesn't look like it's breaking up at all. It gave a good coverage, if you guys could see. I'm not creasing as bad as I would normally crease with any other setting powder. So moving on to the Becca Love Skin thing, y'all. I, 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 I don't know what this is for. I don't know what, I don't know what the product inventor was trying to do. Like, this really feels like a lip gloss balm. Like, honestly, it feels really greasy. It feels really slippery. It made me look greasy. It gave just a little bit of shine, but as you can tell, it picked up a lot of the product that was already on my face. And I think I need to probably look online and see like what the actual claims of it is. All right, the QMS eye cream, I think I would try it a couple more times. Like I said in earlier video, earlier in the video and in my previous video, I really don't do too much eye cream, but with me getting older, I probably should, you know, venture out and try more eye creams out and try to, you know, give my eyes the youthful look and bright eyed that they used to be. So I am going to keep trying this out. Maybe I'll put this in my bathroom and use it, you know, when I wake up and when I get ready to go to bed. Same thing goes for the First Aid Beauty facial scrub. I don't think it toned or brightened me, but it was my first time using it. Um, I can say my makeup does look like really pretty on, but I think I'm gonna put this in my bathroom as well. For the Alamar brushes, I used two out of three. The one that I didn't use was the brightening brush, which I'm assuming was supposed to be like a concealer brush. Complexion brush, I did use it to contour and I think it did pretty good. I am gonna continue to try to work with it. It is kind of stiff, but at the same time flexible. I wanna use this bronzer brush for what is actually meant to be used for. I need to use it as a powder brush today, but I do wanna try using it as a bronzer brush. And for the last item is the BoxyCharm palette. You guys, I was, you know, impressed with the eyeshadows, I can't lie. I really like full size. I think it turned out really pretty on my waterline. I tried to use as many colors as I could. Um, I will come back and, you know, play with it some more, but Sneak Peek was really pretty. That is like a really pretty color on my eyelid. The looks did just a, like a hint of a inner tail look that I want, but I know it would be pretty all over the lid. Spoiler did really good. It was real sheer, but on camera is pigmented, way more pigmented on camera than it is in real life. It's sheer in real life, but it picked up really good for the camera, so I'm excited about that. But it is something to play with in general, and I think it has really good pigmentation to it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below your thoughts and what you think of this look. I actually like the way the look came out. I think I probably could have did a little bit better. I don't know. You let me know what you think down below. And in the words of my loyal subscriber, y'all keep shining, and I will catch y'all in the next one.